Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For those of you are new, welcome. I'm Antonio from Mod Studio. This will be a short tutorial diving into the new DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta 2 using the new object mask to create that fake bokeh effect using an iPhone, Samsung or any smartphone with that small sensor to create that depth of field. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. See you there guys. So guys, we're here in DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta 2. And as you can see, I've got two clips here. I've got the plate with me in it. And then I have a plate that is a clean plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to create that fake bokeh effect, lens blur effect that you can't achieve really in a camera like a Apple or Apple 13 Pro and all those sort of smartphones. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create that effect via the object mask tool, the new one in the studio version. Uh, bear note that the magic mask object mode is only available in studio. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so let's take this clip and let's start doing our mask. So let me just quickly frame this. All right. Let's get a frame, a keyframe that has a lot of information in. Something like this can work. So for this, I'm just going to quickly hide my face. And let's use the better one and refine edge to 30. That's fine. The in and out ratio, I like to take this down to about 10. And the clean, clean the blacks a bit and the white as well. Shrinking radius about one and that's fine. So let's take a, let's select that to show the alpha and let's select the subject, something like this. That is amazing. Okay. Let's take this and let's track this forward, forward and backward. Bear in mind guys that you will be you will need to refine the mask as you can see there there's some places that it does not pick up stuff so afterwards you can go back and create an, another stroke to select that piece and deselect places that you don't want it to select, be selected so after a while you'll have a clean mask output that we can output to the edit page All right let me just quickly pause the video here and I'll be back once this is done so guys I'm back after um, I've done some cleanup jobs on the mask itself um, as you can see it, it did an amazing job on this really good indeed so in order for this to work we need to export this as an alpha to be able to see it in the edit page so in order to do this Let's add the alpha output and pipe this into there. Let's hide the alpha mask. As you can see, it did a really good job. Really impressed. I missed some places there, but that's okay for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, let's head on back to the edit page. Let's unhide the clean backplate. Let's go into the color page for the clean backplate and let's add a lens blur to this and as you can see right off the bat we are getting that nice looking bokeh effect um, not this strong though let's take it down to three just subtle um, and as you can see now we have a nice bokeh effect without getting that horrible halo effect um, around the subject if you use the depth map. The depth map is fantastic. I've tried it on this workflow, but um, you get some smudges. Like for instance, the hand, it does not identify the hand as well. So that's why I'm using the new object mask um, in Studio 18 here. Um, but afterwards, as you can see, did a really, really good job. So let's, excuse me, let's head on back over to the edit page. 
add a adjustment clip above. Back to the color page. I think I have grade here. Let's apply this grade. As you can see. Now we have a nice bokeh effect applied to a ordinary camera lens like the iPhone here or a Samsung or anything you want. You can refine the mask a bit more um, in post. But this, this is an excellent job. I mean, in a few minutes, you get this high quality mask out of a few strokes. Deselect some strokes to get back information. But other than that, I'm really impressed with this new optic mask within DaVinci Resolve 18 Beta 2. And this is only Beta 2, you know, uh, it's still in development, so this will only get better. Um, but anyway, guys, this is the tutorial for creating that fake bokeh effect using the magic mask object mode within DaVinci Resolve 18. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Stay safe and take care. Bye-bye.